Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the worst D&D channel, Shattered Earth Campaign. Hello. Uh, we thank you all for joining us, and um, hey, we're going to just hop right into our descriptions and stuff. We are playing a fifth edition a uh, tabletop game, I guess, a uh, combination of D&D 5th Edition and Ultramarine 5, the Redux Manual. Ultramarine 5 is a addition, I guess, to D&D that is created by DSX Machina, a Canadian-based company. What, what, represent. Um, and uh, yeah, they're pretty awesome for letting us use this. We've talked to them. They kind of shut out our channel and we're going to shout out them every chance we get. Uh, so thank you once again, DSX Machina, for writing this awesome book. Uh, on top of that, the Shattered Earth campaign is something that I came up with. It's basically an apocalypse. It happened in Texas. A bunch of stuff went down with uh, opening up a portal to another dimension. And then like these other creatures came across. And then there was an apocalypse and whatever. Um, moving on. Um... I think that's pretty much all I need to get out. So we're going to hop right in into Kenny telling us what happened last week so you guys can all get caught up. Well, last week was about a, a bit of a crazy week. Started out as being chased by a bunch of weird worms. <laughs> Dash had the brilliant idea of just gunning it and driving away while I was hanging from the roof. <laughs> I almost died there. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> but everyone survived. Only near death experiences, and we made it back to misery. In misery, we got the doctor to save Thea's life by draining her brain of way too much stuff. And then halfway through, Dash had this weird vision experience that who knows what's going on in Dash's head? He's crazy. <laughs> but it finished with him spitting up water that no one knows where it came from and asking... Alaria? You got it. About stuff that happened in the portal, but nobody remembers. So after all of this went down, we got in the truck and went to take the doctor back home. But halfway there, we met up with some of... Dash's old friends. At that point, we learned Dash's name is actually Tommy. Well, at least I learned that. And that <laughs> these might not actually be his friends, given off by the fact that we started shooting them and they started shooting us. At some point, some of us died. Some of them died. Veda convinced them to stop killing us and everyone went our separate ways. And I believe we ended with taking the doctor back to misery. Sure did. That. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So and nothing happened between Boone and Veda. <laughs> Did something happen between Boone and Veda? Sure just a conversation. Nothing. Just a conversation with. Uh... Ellen, I, I forgot know, about like, that and I didn't see it when I skimmed the notes. Mom. She's got it going on for <laughs> people that hate elven kind, so she clipped Boone's ears, his half elf ears, to make them look more humanly so that he wouldn't get get uh, harassed and such. Just to now, be clear, none of you yeah. know that, just Veda. Now yeah. I'm just and Boone. See, that's why I didn't bring it up. Kenny was in aware. That's fair. I guess he also now wasn't he, aware of the vision, sh vision chip. But <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, you guys are on... You guys would be in Demon Arm at this point. I don't well, think we left Demon Arm. I think we were at the entrance. She met us there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Void has walking away, walked away walking. Who am I? Um, walked away from you guys. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, we haven't rested yet, eh? Uh, no, I don't think 
think so. Okay. I'm still missing health, so no. And he's dying. Yep. <laughs> what time of day is it? Uh, I would say it's probably about early evening, 4 or 5 p.m. Hmm. What do they got for shops here in Demon Arm? Well, I'm glad you asked. Give me one second, and I will tell you. Um, do, do, do. We also want to know the shopkeeper's names, the shopkeeper's spouse's names, all their kids, their relatives. Well, I can give you all the shopkeeper's names. That's not a problem. Thank you. That's why um, I extended it past them. They have the Corner Shack. <laughs> Uh, which is a restaurant. Sophie's General, which is a general store. Presents from the Past, uh, Primal Plains Hotel and Bar, and the Alliance Clinic, which is where you got uh, Dr. Patrick O'Finn from. Okay. Um, maybe I'll go check out the general store. Okay. Unless the group wants to do something. I no, don't have anything to do. <laughs> uh, so you head over towards the general store. Uh, there's a sign in the window, just Sophie's general, and it says opened. And you walk in. And she's like, well, aren't you a bright drink of water? What brings you to town? I haven't seen you around here. Howdy, Sophie, I assume. Uh, I'm just here to Sophie. check out the Yep, yeah, that's me. Uh, she's a short rock gnome. Um, she's got dark colored hair, uh, kind of done in a mohawk, but it goes down and is long in the back. Mm -hmm. um, she's got herself slightly dressed up, but like you can tell it's not good quality like your outfit is. Yeah, but, it's, uh, she's not dressed up like me. No, she's she's trying to dress herself up. Uh, but anyway, she uh, she's like, well, have a look around. I'm glad you uh, could stop by. Yeah, so I'm just seeing if you have any. Just anything useful for the road, any bandages, any. Just whatever, maybe you have some treasures here that I never thought I'd find here in Demon Arm. Um, well, uh, I do, but I, you know what, whatever, screw them. It's at the end of the day. Um, what did you need? Um, Sorry, mo the problem is most of my stuff like that is reserved for the Terror Battalion, as you know. Wait, do you know? Do you know about the Terror Battalion? I know now. Okay. I, I've um, I've had my dealings with them. I've I've heard the name. All right, no big no I didn't big know deal. They had special reserves. But well, makes sense. Technically, I mean Changsheng is the one who runs this town, but we all know it's void. But she she has a her her hands in quite a bit of stuff. But <clears throat> you know what? You're a new customer. I'm sure you won't be running to tell her anytime soon. So. uh what can I do for you? Like, what, what, what exactly are you wanting from me? Um. So, just is there anything I see just looking around on the shelves? Like, I'm not totally sure what I'm Jeez. looking for, other than maybe some healing. Maybe there'll be something neat that catches my eye. Uh. Well, yeah, like, you're looking around, you see, like, different, like, bandages and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> you see, like, a couple of different types of clothes. You see some soap. Um, <laughs> um, so... You say you got special stuff for the Terror Battalion my like 
I got a crappy little pea shooter here. It's not doing me so great out in the wilderness. Do you got any, you know, with the general story, you got anything a little more powerful than this? I mean, yeah, but it's not hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, I'm just wondering if you got any. Uh, sorry, I have to open up the uh, manual here. What do you actually have? Um, it's just a one d six gun. Well, I, like I renamed like it. So I forget. Like I said, we save a lot of stuff for a terror battalion, but hey, if you got uh, 30 tokens on you, I have uh, a lovely break action shot pistol for you. Hmm. On a scale, like in a numerical value, what do you think that would kind of do in a battle? <laughs> it's It's like a break action shotgun. Uh, but it's one-handed it's 1d8 but if you are closer than if you're like within five feet you uh do a bit of extra damage cool uh, it does plus three damage if fired at targets within 10 feet hmm. plus you're level five so if you roll a natural 20 they also get knocked prone oh cool that sounds real nifty. You said 30 tokens? 30 tokens for this one, yep. I only got 18 on me right now. Maybe I can just go find my friend. Could you go any lower, though? I'm not sure how much he's carrying. Maybe like 25? Uh, I'll roll a persuasion check. Hmm. Uh, not good. I rolled a four, so uh, <laughs> twenty. <sighs> rolled a four, so twenty. <laughs> Tell you what. Hello, Katana. Um. Tell you what. You're a handsome young lad. I'm sure you know a lot of people are quite popular. Maybe we can strike up some sort of deal here. What are you thinking there, Sophie? I'm thinking every chance you get, you be telling people about this great shop you found in Demon Arm, telling people, wow, she gave me such a good deal. She's a she's a great business owner. She's just such a lovely person. And I am. I'm a lovely person. I can tell you're giving me a special deal right here. Yeah, exactly. So, you do this for me. I might be able to swing you a little deal. Say, 26 tokens. 26. Yeah, like I said, I got to go check with my friends. I only got 18 on me here, so... I'll see. They should be carrying 8 tokens, I would hope. But... I'll be back in there. I'll be Are back you talking about there. Dash? Because I think he's broke. No, <laughs> no uh, that sounds like a good deal. If I got the tokens between us, I'm I'm going to be back here pretty soon. All right. I hope to see you soon. All right. Thank you, Sophie. Uh, hey, uh, Elaine, can you do me a favor? Can you yes. unmute on Skype real quick and then say something and then mute again? Okay. You're good. Thank you. Odd. It, it just gets you onto my screen instead of myself. No big deal. <laughs> oh. That's All fair. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave and try to find Kenny and Dash and Elaine. Ask if they have eight tokens that they could spend. <laughs> We're all hot, specifically hiding from you. <laughs> How many tokens does Elaine have? That's a great question. He's asking for eight more tokens than Kenny has. <laughs> He's asking him for about seven more than I have. How many does Dash have? Uh, 
Where are you? Did he make it back to the truck? Oh, I would assume so, yeah. Yeah. How broke is our are, group? <laughs> Very. Okay. So, I found a real cool gun over at Sophie's store, but I need eight tokens. Do we have that? Kind of like what? Uh. It's a pretty special gun. Seems pretty cheap. Eight tokens for a gun. Well, I, I got most of the money. She's giving me a deal. She wants 30. I'm, I got down to 26. But seems like we could do some serious damage, especially if I get swarmed. Uh, sure. All right. I'm going to stick my hand into my pocket. And... <laughs> I got one. My pockets just get turned inside out. Oh, nope. let me a moth flies away. Yeah. Uh, five. Uh, Do we not have money anymore? Oh, I'm six. Uh, oh, yeah. Look, I got, I got seven. Insight. Thank, thank you. <laughs> you can have my one token. It better be worth it. How much money does Dash have? He gave a hundred to the doctor. I just rolled a 20. How honest does Dash seem about not thinking he has money? <laughs> well, I rolled a natural one, so it's obvious to everyone in the group. <laughs> that I got more than seven. You were just trying well, to like only pull seven out of your pocket? Like, yeah. hold on, let me just like oh, count that's it with pulling Put that it back. out. Put that back. <laughs> <laughs> like 10 more fall out. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Those are counterfeit. Ignore those, those don't, don't work. No, look. <laughs> Those are casino tokens. All right, I'll be uh, I'll be right back. Thank you guys. And I'll go. I will purchase that. Nice. So it, it yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> the range isn't as good as whatever you had before. Okay. It's twenty five uh, close twenty five normal range and fifty long range. Okay. I just added an E to the end of gun. It is two shots before you have to reload. Mm. Okay. Okay. <gasps> but it is a D8 and plus three damage if you're closer than 10 feet. Is it an action to reload a weapon? Uh, I think it depends on the weapon. Say this weapon, for example. Uh. Well, for all the weapons I believe we have, they are all in action to load. Reach. One round at a time with an action and or a bonus action. The character's choice. One shot is reloaded in the weapon. Oh, man. Oh, so you can use your action and bonus action to reload both shots. Yeah. Or just load, shoot, load, shoot, load, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well <clears throat> anyway cool cool thank you you now, you now have a weapon you will now be getting more customers hopefully yeah I better see something pay off of this I just lost myself four tokens but you know whatever I guess you can have this That's no Toby, don't be that way that's no way to talk to a new customer. You're right. You're right, I guess. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Don't die out there. <laughs> Haven't yet. Well, you know, day's still young. This is true. All right, I'm going to come running back to the group. Look what I got. <laughs> Waving a gun. <laughs> I got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, look, I didn't figure I'd be well, actually with you guys this long. Like, we should probably have a uh, a little talk about our finances and how we spend our money. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Listen, because. I haven't been sharing very much with you guys. Uh, I still have 
Um, 81 minus 7 is 76. I, no. I like that answer better. <laughs> no, it's uh, 74. Just yeah. as a side so thing, I, I got... just... I was fixing Boo's camera, and for a bit there, the frame made him look very bald. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if I go... And the word okay, is just there. Stop. You, you have 74 tokens? Yeah. I've, I've been saving for a while. I haven't... I haven't spent much of anything. I thought that getting the medical attention was going to be really expensive. I mean, this is not Canada. So I've been keeping tokens to myself for a while. I mean, it was a hundred tokens, which is the most you guys have spent on anything. All right, that's fair. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. with that. yeah, I can get behind that. All right, so... Elaine, you want to be keeper of the money again? <laughs> what do you mean again? Again? Yeah, I'll let you just spend all your money on behalf of a group. I'm great with now. money. <laughs> Kenny, you didn't. I even quite literally token. gave Boone my last token. My deception roll was a nine, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the Black well, Widow's here. been doing any better since oh, wait, I put no, those people in there. Um, most of my money went to not getting Veda killed and getting her brother the hell out of there. Right, well, now you get 74 more tokens and happy birthday. Right, I think her I, uh, birthday was a few days ago. I guess I'm starting a party fund. <laughs> of tokens. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, do well. 70 numbers and wood yeah you know, the, all right dyslexia stuff all right now are we having this talk because i just spent money because i've uh i've grown accustomed to the bunker where money is no object i just spend it so well that's why i didn't give you the money i i just feel like this is all coming back to me no 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 no. if this is something that okay yeah because i just stay quiet every time someone needs money every time we need to like pay a medical bill or or something like speaking of i think sophie's had um she had a lot of cool stuff but there was like some bandages on the shelves I don't know. I, I didn't. How look is right everyone right. on uh, I still got bandages and first aid kits right now? Because I know I'm Dash. You guys still have quite a lot. I'm uh, still fine. I have got... three bandages, two medicated, and one first aid. Hey, okay. same please. I don't think I used any of mine. I'm not real good at it. I'm just selfish. <laughs> and when I offer to use it, Boone's like, "No, I'll just use magic." I'm like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> Save it for when I'm dead. <laughs> we have a lot of medical if stuff. If you're dead, I hope I'm still standing because I'm I'm all right with you know I manage. I think but... Kenny's also proficient in. I medicine. am. Well, I think we're the only it. two. Uh, I got proficient it. in medicine. I oh. just ain't very wise. <laughs> um, excuse me. I realize I'm not in the. the uh, Roll 20. How dare you? Sorry. You don't need to go there. I kind of do. <laughs> Should probably have that up. Oh no. They've messed up roll 20. <laughs> Using arrow keys, moose, something else. No. Oh, you can change that. How? It works you for me still. little gear cog. Keyboard shortcuts? No. Actually, might be. Mm. Oh, they've changed some stuff. It'll be in there somewhere. But I'm not gonna worry about it right now. 
Okay, well, I guess I probably shouldn't worry about it considering that I have to, you know, run the game. That's fine. I'll deal with it later. <clears throat> I'm just so used to moving with my arrow keys. <laughs> um, excuse me. Who are you? Um, well, that's a lovely way to start a conversation. Um, my name's L. L. What can we do for you, L? Well, I noticed you you all have a you all have a truck. If you don't mind, I uh, I have some family a little little way south of here. Um, in Fantown. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, not Fantown. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, do yeah, I that, 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 No, no, Fantown is not south of Demon Arm. It's south of uh, a different place, <laughs> Zion. Um, it's it's just kind of a in the middle of nowhere, not really part of a settlement or anything. Just kind of south of here. Um, if you don't mind, um, I'd like to go visit them with my daughter, and you know walk in these the wasteland or whatever it's a little dangerous and i would like her if possible i'd like a ride um i have a bit of money i could offer how much um well i'd have to go check my my coin purse i don't really carry it on me because you know it's we'll dangerous. wait okay <laughs> It's, so, it's his way of saying we probably won't mind. It's just a little rough around the edges. All right. Well, I mean, electricity ain't free. But yeah, that's fair. I, I get it. I'm not. I'm not complaining. Don't worry. Yeah, almost cost us a tabaxi. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Uh, so she walks away from you guys. Either you think that went really well, Dash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I think we're going to make some money today. <clears throat> so is that just what we're doing now? We're just running around making money till we think we can take on your lovely friend we met? Um... Well, we're gonna need a lot of friends of our own. Like, powerful friends. And we're gonna need to make misery or wherever we decide to build our home, we're gonna have to make that place a lot more fortified. Somewhere safe. Well, base of operations. Yeah. Okay. I still Are you couple. worried that uh, Misery's compromised now? Well, Richter obviously knows about it. And he also knows that my family's alive now. And, uh, all right, help, help me out here, guys. Like, he had us. He knew where we were because he put that tracking device on a truck that we no one knew about. And then and then he shows up and lets us live. He just wanted me to know he's alive. Like we gotta figure out why. What Because why. he wants to get in your head. Dash. Well, congratulations, it worked. But why leave me alive? Because that means he can toy with you more. No, there's got to be something more to it. He's not. If he hates you as much as it seems he does, he wants to see you suffer. A quick death ain't going to do it. Does he think you'll lead him somewhere, maybe? He took the tracking device, at least one of them off. Uh, 
when we get back to misery lotion luke are gonna go over this truck top to bottom and i think it needs a makeover as well yeah i i wasn't able to fix all the the hole no was no you, damage. it was but i mean i was real impressed with what you did get done there but but yeah it's got to get an extension uh, he, he did say that he he recognized the truck which is how he put the tracking device on the first place eh? yeah yeah um but yeah that's that's how he actually found you guys you, mm -hmm. you came into ecstasy one night one night one day i don't remember one or the other and uh you guys were pretty careless <laughs> <laughs> yeah we killed a guy we killed a guy <laughs> you killed a guy <laughs> you, you basically did everything but pull the trigger <laughs> You didn't stop me. Yep. <laughs> Why didn't you, you didn't stop know. Because <laughs> you don't communicate. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to talk to you. This is our problem. <laughs> uh, so Elle comes back. And she's like, all right, sorry. I, sorry I took some time. I, uh, sorry. I got, I got 10 tokens. Um. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd be fine with giving you guys eight, so I have something to, you know, use when I need to get back. It'll, it'll, oh, give, give us a sec. Let me talk to my friends. It's his truck, you see, so... Yeah, fine. Whatever. Alright. Do you know anything about this place that she's going to? It's south of here, hey? You said it was in the yeah. middle of nowhere. What was the name of the? She didn't. It there, wasn't really there's no town. It's just, it's just a place. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's the middle of nowhere. Seems like, I don't know. Are we just dropping her off and leaving? I mean, if it's. <clears throat> what channel? Let's see your daughter. Find? Oh, she's taking her she, daughter. She's her. taking her daughter. Oh, she's taking her daughter. We're yeah. just okay. dropping her off. It won't really her. inconvenience mm -hmm. us. All right. Yeah. Are there going to be towns south of here that we can just kind of keep going along the way to at least make our trip worth it? Are you asking her or are you asking other people? Well, yeah. asking you there, DM. Is there trips well, along, like, the way, just... along the way? <laughs> I'm wondering if you're asking like the people who would know or the people like the person who asked you. That's yeah, what I'm so wondering. Dash, Kenny, Elaine. Okay. So <laughs> further south of here is Pyremeyer and the Shadows. Uh if you go if you go southeast of here, you go to Isalon. Um, but yeah, if you go directly south and either west or east, so like quite a ways, let me give you a measurement, one second. Um, so about 70 kilometers south and then like 20 kilometers east or west. Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's Pyremeyer or the Shadows. Okay. And we got lots of battery to make the round trip for like through that town and back to misery. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Is there anything in Pyremeyer? That sounds kind of cool. Maybe we might see some sites. Uh, you guys walked through Pyremeyer on your way to uh, Fool's Hope. Mm. Like, like uh, Dash, Kenny, and Elaine. Mm. How was it? Three stars would walk through again. Seven stars would would die here. Oh, we did die yeah, there. This is all the dream. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> all right. Annie, stop! Stop letting 
there be so many spoilers. <laughs> I, I say we do. I don't I'm down to make know how I feel fun. about letting someone walk with their kid out there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right, so I walk back to this lady. Uh, what did you say your name was? L. L. And who's this? Are you pointing to the daughter? Yeah. Okay, she doesn't have her daughter. <laughs> She'd no have, to go get, have to go get her daughter. <laughs> she oh, she haven't agreed prepared. to it yet, so <laughs> she didn't have her daughter. I apologize, I got shot earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, my head's just not in a good space right now. <laughs> All right, oh yeah, we'll take you. But it'll cost you five tokens. <gasps> Oh, okay, well, I did offer eight, but thank you. That That's very generous of you. Five just for a ride, and eight if we end up having to save your life. Okay, well, that seems suspicious, but okay. I, I understand. <laughs> We're not going to kill you. <laughs> if, I mean, gonna, if we wanted to kill you, we could just take oh, all ten. Over ten tokens? Kenny. It's true. <laughs> It's still rude. He takes a little step back. <laughs> Is Kenny afraid of the lame? <laughs> well, it's just like he doesn't want to argue. <laughs> it just watches this whole thing go down. Like, so what will be you? Feeling lucky? <laughs> I mean, sure. The all right. Well, let me let me go grab my daughter. I'll be right back. So she runs and grabs her daughter and comes back. It's like, ooh, just as he described. I was quick. All right. Um, you you ready to go? You ready to go, Molly? And she's like, uh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, how old does this kid look? Is she like six? Like, do we need uh, a kid seat? About four or five. No, you don't need a kid seat. It's the apocalypse. Mm. That's <laughs> not safe. <laughs> what if we run into bullets? <laughs> Boule. Boule. <laughs> Boule? What? <laughs> Nature Boule. <laughs> All right, Molly, I think All right, we better get going. You can sit in the back. Uh, L, did you want front seat? Um, Molly, no. probably. I can always can sit both, in the... We can both ride in the back. It's it's no big deal. Yeah, I'd I'm going to hop in the back with them just so we've got people back there. All right, Kenny, you on the roof? Yep, and Doing he riding. ties himself down with the... Too long, but not the hang gliding rope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Booney riding shot. Looks like you got a fancy new one. I sure am. All right. <laughs> All right. And away we go. Whoa, too fast, too fast. <laughs> Way too fast. Um, while, while we're driving, I'll kind of have Muffin out the, like, looking from the front seat to the back to entertain Molly. <laughs> so, uh... Been peeking over behind the seat. <laughs> like, like the Joker? <laughs> <laughs> exactly like the Joker. <laughs> Um, so, uh, what, what brings you all to, uh, Demon Arm? Uh, the truck. A little bit of a pit stop. <laughs> the truck fixed up a bit. I just want to say I'm glad we don't have Veda here telling us where to <laughs> seat Molly. She's saying to put him up top with... Strap him to the top of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> it is safe. <laughs> Kenny yeah, we kind of seatbelt. <laughs> we kind of sort of stole a doctor for money from Demon Arm to help, and now we borrowed. 
But yeah, we brought, um, we brought you with uh, later. I, I don't know. We hired should him, we, but should we be getting out here? I. You're y'all are fine. Okay. We needed a doctor. Avoid just wasn't too happy about the fact that he went with us. I mean, that's fair. They they use a lot of resources and they get injured a lot. And, you know, you know how the story goes. I know. <clears throat> but we did make sure to bring him back. So. <laughs> um... Okay, well, I guess that's all right. Thank you. Thank you, I guess. Where are y'all headed anyway? If you don't mind my asking. Oh, um, like I said, I just have family. They kind of live in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I just want to take my daughter to go, go see them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. How do they just survive out in the middle of nowhere? You say it's a tiny place? I mean, you don't need to live in a settlement to survive. You can just kind of have a tight knit group, kind of living in the same little area. And yeah, but what do you eat? You can hunt. There's animals. Is there? Like I was under the impression. No, that there's animals. No, well, there's so animals. Just because they're mutated doesn't mean they're you can't eat them. Can yeah, you fairly good at hunting eat. them? I'm pretty sure. No, they only made Veda and Boone sick because they weren't used to it. Oh. And Boone was fine. It was more Veda. <laughs> Veda had the butter. Yeah. She still has radiation <laughs> poisoning. Yes. <laughs> Is this Apocalypse Curse the Carol? No. Um, much, much worse. Uh, so. Um. As you guys are driving along, let's do. Me, boom. me, me. Aww. <laughs> D100? D100. D100. 46. 46, you say? I just want to say if it was me, I would have rolled a 99. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, man. Have we ever rolled over 60 yet? No. No. I think the closest we got was like 57 or something like that. I'm thinking 55 because we had the 55 funny jokes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was funny about 55? I no, don't have to 55. count. <laughs> 55. 55. Um, all right. <laughs> So you guys are driving along for a little bit, and um, is Molly enjoying the show? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, as you guys are kind of driving, though, uh, yeah, I assume you're conversing and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you're talking, Molly's like, "Oh, L." Um, I, I was just interested. Um, and Elle's immediately like, oh, no, it's OK. We're going to go see our family, right? No big deal. We're going to have some fun together. Um, and Molly kind of quiets down and she's like, well, I think the uh, the puppet show is nice. And she's like, yeah, isn't he funny? Great stories and everything. What was your name? Well, this right here is Boone the Magnificent, don't you know? <laughs> kind of well-renowned. I I didn't know, but I'm I'm glad to know that now. S sorry, you're asking my name or the or the uh, the main attraction here? I guess both of you. Well, as my associate said, I'm I'm Boone. This year is Muffin. The one and only. But he's... I don't know. He hasn't been performing it so great, but at least Molly's enjoying it. Uh, Molly kind of like taps on Elle's shoulder and kind of like whispers in her ear. Uh, and she's like, if you don't mind, she, uh, she wants to know if she can hold him. 
Um, how old are you, Molly? Uh, she holds up four fingers. Mm. Oh, you got to be very careful, okay? He's a one of a kind. Can you be very can you be very gentle if I give you muffin? Uh, she nods. Okay. I'll pass him over. <laughs> okay. So she just plays with it for a little bit. Nothing, nothing too aggressive or anything. Yeah, and I'm just kind of keeping a keeping an eye, making sure it doesn't, doesn't break at him too hard. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's no dark one. It's muffin. Okay. <laughs> you guys, it's starting to get a bit dark out because, like I said, it was around five in the evening when you guys were leaving. You guys come across kind of, uh, you haven't seen it before. It was like you guys haven't been all over Texas, you guys have been in the general vicinity. Um, but give me a second here. Where is my lighting? There it is. You guys come across like a junkyard type looking place all dusty and gloomy and it's mm. kind of dark out um but from behind the crates on the left and right hand side you see like a flickering of light like a fire Does this, uh, does this look familiar, L? Um, yeah, looks fine. Uh, Kenny takes the scope off his rifle and kind of scans the area to see if there's anything suspicious. Takes off the scope because, you know, he doesn't think they're suspicious. He doesn't want to be pointing a gun at people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm just editing something that I forgot to do. So you guys should see kind of some light emitting from behind the areas at this point. Kind of here-ish? Yeah, there. Yeah, one here, one here. Yes. Yes, we do. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. All right. So as Kenny pulls out the scope, you kind of zoom in over the. Uh, the what are they called? What am I? Crates. What are those bins called? Crates. Sea can? Yeah. Like sea can <clears throat> is like the corrugated metal. Bins, They're crates. Right? They're big crates. Yeah. So you look over that and you see like it's a large fire kind of coming over the top of it and it's like these are high up and the fire is just peeking over the top of it you can't see any people or anything though i poke my head in down looking like just hanging down into the window those are two real big fires and uh l is kind of like um like this is this isn't where i'm going like this is just on the way so what is this place? We can just keep on going through. Uh, when Kenny ah, hears that, he it. definitely puts the scope back on his rifle and starts scanning with his gun. <laughs> some, sort of, some sort of junkyard. I haven't really seen anybody here before, but, you know. But you walk through here all the time, like, when you go visit your family. Oh, 
Um, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's not dark most of the time. Can I roll an insight check on this lady? I would or... like to, to. This is start, starting to seem odd. That's weird. Oh, well, that's a natural 20. Of course it is. Yep. Kenny yeah. isn't yeah. listening. He's scanning. Uh, 26. Uh, I got a 12. <laughs> the 12 succeeds. The 26 doesn't. Yeah, 26. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um. Okay, so Elaine, you don't notice anything wrong at all. You're like, all right. Well, I guess I'm just suspicious by nature. I guess. <clears throat> and uh, Dash, she's very hard to read, but you do get a weird vibe off of her like she's not being truthful she hate well i'm just wondering why like Mom. she's being truth truthful <laughs> about like the she's never seen this before but it's just there's something off about this whole situation and sorry go ahead <clears throat> okay Boom. uh i'm gonna be like Molly Muffin has a secret he wants to tell you. And, uh, so, and she kind of like widens her eyes. I'm like, come close. I got a whisper. Uh, I'm going to ask, is this your mom? I, you called her L. You didn't call her mom. Um, You can, you can tell. I'm, it's her, eye, her eyes kind of widen. She's like, looks over uh and what was that i said she doesn't hear yeah i know she looks over to uh l and she uh roll a quick perception check mm. uh not great what's my modifier um 10 um okay so yeah you you don't see anything but she looks over at l real quick and then looks back at you all still wide-eyed and just nods really quickly okay but i see her look kind of a little alarmed and nod uh yeah Okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of lean over to Dash. I don't think this is mother and daughter. I'm getting that same feeling. All right, let's. Uh... Are we are we going? I like what's what's the hold up oh, here? Right, we so can this just is drive small, through. This is a small little junkyard. Yeah. Well, let's just drive around it. You're driving around it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this is a pretty neat little place. Let's, uh, Looks I just want to have a quick look here. And so, yeah, I start circling it. Is the truck taller than the fence? Uh, by circling, do you mean like going around the outside or uh, like around the inside fence area? Like, what, which side are you wanting to go around? Well, obviously, the place I'm not going to get shot to death. No, 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 I'll, I'll, uh, cause I, I don't like the vibe of this whole thing. I'm not going through that place. I'm going to circle around. But like on the map, the like, are you going here or are you going here? It'd be outside oh, oh, the no. fenced in area. Oh, 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 sorry. I just exited. <laughs> like, like if it's a fenced in junkyard, would you drive around the interior of the fence or the exterior of the fence? Exterior. Okay. Yeah. Is the truck we're in taller than the fence? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna watch to see what's going on with the fires as we go around. Okay. So, because I don't have the map that extends out there, I'm going to move you inside the fence. Yep. Yep, that's cool. So I'm gonna move you over this way. 
And that should immediately, nope, actually you probably still can't see. So we're going to move a little bit further. And I Olé. think you should be able to see at that point. It's Ganondorf. <laughs> Two of them. Uh, so yeah, that's what you see, and uh, L kind of looks over and is like, "Holy crap! What? What is that? Oh, great David's ding dong! Who are they? Do I recognize what they are?" Um, uh, Boone, no. Mm, roll a. What do we have? Arcana, Dungeoneering, whatever. Just, just tell me what to add to it. <laughs> Arcana. Twelve. I was curious want, if I want knew. Me to add something better? Want me to add, like, persuasion? No. <laughs> I literally <laughs> rolled a zero. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty? Uh, you've, like, you, you kind of got schooled a little bit. Um, you recognize these to be uh, fire giants. Are any of them wearing belts? <laughs> no. Can we make a belt out of one of them? No. <laughs> um, so that might be a fire giant. I kind of remember a little bit from my education before in and on the streets. But I didn't think they were real. Well, do they see us? Well. I don't know, do they? Are they looking our way? They don't got eyes uh, on the back of their head. They're kind of just uh, sitting and not really moving. Like I said, it's kind of getting late. It seems like they're actually asleep. I got my gun trained on the closer one, but I ain't shooting unless they do something first. Well, you don't want to wake one up and find out? No. all right all right well um yeah we should go around i didn't realize that giants made their home here that's weird uh so yeah we'll just go around and keep going a little bit further down and that's that's where they are okay well good thing you didn't come walking yeah i mean i could have been like smashed by a giant that that would have been awful yeah i hear they grind Wally, your you want to see a fire giant well, Molly's already looking out the window, but <laughs> I didn't know if she could see out the window because she's four. Yeah, she's. <laughs> I mean, nobody's wearing seatbelts. It's the apocalypse. It's like a school bus. Yeah. Just I just didn't know how the big bus. the like window on like the like in the back of the truck was or anything. If it's like an airplane window where you only see. Yeah, that. Uh, uh, that's fair. <laughs> Also, since we're yeah. just driving slowly around, I use the next 30 seconds to fully power up, just in case. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So you guys just drive around. Which is perfectly yeah. fine. It's a perfectly reasonable option. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah. It didn't have a battle prepared or anything. It's all cool. Whatever. Um... <laughs> Uh, okay, so you guys keep on going, and uh, Molly, sorry, not Molly, L, uh, is kind of like, all right, probably just another 15 minutes here. I've never driven before, sorry. I Probably just another 15 minutes, and then we're all good to go. <laughs> um. When's the last time you visited your family down here? Oh, it's been a while. Um, Is it your brother? Uh, it's actually, it's my uh, extended family. So it's like my cousins and stuff. Okay, okay. But been a while, eh? 
Uh, yeah. Have, like, they, have they been up to visit you? Or is it just... Oh, no. They, they, oh, they, no. they, they don't have time. Like, it, it's busy there. You know. You know how it is. In the middle of nowhere, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. they got they got to make sure that they have food and stuff like that. They, I I don't I don't understand why I need to really explain to you, but like you know, the apocalypse gets busy. Like there's stuff to do. Curiosity killed the cat. Huh. I look at Veda. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Veda. <laughs> Figure of speech. <laughs> No, sorry, I'm just just making conversation. It's a long ride. That's fair, I just I, I'm just telling you, it's like it's been a while. That's all there is to do it. Like, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't get to see them all the time. I just I don't know. No, that's fair, that's fair, I'm sorry. Yeah. So is it a special occasion? Why are you going now? I don't know. Saw you guys in town, thought, hey, if I could get a ride out, I could actually go see them and stay for a bit longer. No, so you were already planning on going? Uh, yeah, I've been planning for a little bit. And nothing she's, like, said, like, sounds, still gives me that weird vibe. Well, I think since you've had the vibe, you kind of have the vibe now. Yeah. So. I can't <laughs> I can't take it away <laughs> it's like the sexiness when you got it you just got it <laughs> exactly you know exactly what that's like <laughs> mm-hmm. alright so yeah we'll continue but I'll be extra vigilant he's so vigilant he's a vigilante oh man so vigilante. <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys are still heading out on your way. Um, And after about 15 minutes, you guys end up pulling up to a place that actually doesn't look too bad. Hmm. Place don't look too bad. (laughs) Yeah, actually. (laughs) Okay, don't have to don't have to roast me. Jeez. (laughs) One sec. Just gotta add you guys to the map and then drop you in. So you clearly didn't think we're going to survive the giant encounter? No, I just have to add you guys to the map and drop you in. And you're in. Uh, Roll a perception check. (laughs) Okay. That is a... 21. All right. As you're pulling up, you see uh, people posted on the roofs of the house that you're pulling up to. Do they look like they're about to shoot at us? Uh, They look like they're aiming at you, yes, but not necessarily about to shoot you. I don't pull um, my gun, but I'm riding. This is the place. (laughs) Um, thank Thank you very much for the ride. Um, as promised, here's your, uh, here's your five, five tokens. Oh, no, just hang on. Why don't we go meet the folks? Um, I don't think that was part of the arrangement. Well, it is pretty late. Well, Well, we're driving through anyways, so. But, you know, it's, we're here now. And we only charged you five tokens instead of the eight, so. I mean, I offered the eight. I'm not sure. Like, yeah, but it's... the very least you could do is offer us some tea while we're here. Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's let's do it. 
<laughs> and she gets out of the vehicle with that. It's, pr it's probably pretty late here, right? Yeah, but you guys have a vehicle, like no, I'm guys... sorry, like sorry, I, I spoke in voice, but it like it's light. Yeah, like uh, probably okay. around now, it would be ten, eleven. I, muffin, muffin can tell Molly a little story. Put her to bed while you make the tea if you want. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it is pretty late, so we could, you know, hurry things up, because I'm sure these guys are going to want to go to bed right away. Yeah. And she continues. Oh, I keep, keep messing up. How um, long was the drive here? Like five uh, hours? Yeah. Ish. Okay. Five or six. And it is 70 she... kilometers away, she said. Yes. It, the thing is, driving, it, you're not doing 100 kilometers an hour. You're having to navigate around. And then you also didn't go through the junkyard. You went around it. Um, on top of that, yeah, it's just... the I'm... Driving, it, just because it's 70 kilometers doesn't mean it's going to be... A, a quick drive. No, I was just thing. asking to see if how much time I had to rest. So I'm going to say I took a short rest in that time. So I'm not seeing with 11 hit points. What? You don't like having low hit points? No, not right now. Actually, I'm are going you to use able to hear in the car? Kenny, are you able to hear in the car when I'm when you're on the oh. roof? Because you could get an extra D6 if you could. That's up to Madison. I have Song of Rest. Uh, I mean, like I said, you're not driving super quickly. The one time that you did drive quickly, it was because <laughs> Dash rolled a natural 20 on a speed up check. So the drive does count as a short rest? For people who aren't taking an active part in it. Damn it, okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, do I get my uh, gun points back on a short rest? Anyway, so yeah, uh, as L is kind of walking up, there's a guy standing here, kind of standing guard, and she leans in and whispers something, and then they continue walking. Um, am I close enough to hear it? Uh, probably not. Okay. Like, I mean, by lean in, I mean like right, right in. So you, the people you'd have to be right up there. The <laughs> people ear. on the roofs guarding, do they look like they relaxed at all when they seen the lady get out or do they still seem suspicious of us? They still seem suspicious of you guys, yes. Like Kenny don't like, like this. <laughs> um Yeah. Anyway, uh I got to take a quick break if we're cool with uh taking a quick break here. I would love that right now. Okay. That sounds great. And then uh, we'll be back in like 20 minutes. Welcome back. <laughs> Did you miss us? All right. Sorry about that. So as you guys are, like I said, as she walks up, she leans into this guy's ear, whisper, obviously whispers something, and then turns back to you, Dash, and gives you a quick smile and keeps on walking. I go up to this guy, lean in, and say, just another little whisper. <laughs> Do you actually? No. That was just for the viewers at home. <laughs> okay. A little bit of ASMR for the people who like it. Are we all going in? <laughs> Kenny's oh, not. Yeah, she, are you not? <laughs> okay. Just, well, just to be clear, just Elaine isn't checking. suspicious. No. I know. No, I'm, no. I'm not telling Dash. Okay, so... I guess I'm still in the car with Elaine then. Um, I'm pretty sure Molly is not her daughter. Maybe it could be fine. I'm just worried. I, I asked her if that's her mom. She looked alarmed. She she nodded. She didn't call her mom though. Uh, Kenny yeah, says quietly that. from the roof. I've, something. Never heard, I've never heard a four-year-old do yeah. that. 
When you guys are talking about this, Kenny says quietly from the roof, something ain't right here. I don't know what's going on. I just want to make sure she's safe. And then I'll hop out of the car and fall behind. Boone, wait up. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up with Boone. Kenny's staying where he is. Oh, he welcome. He's at the sniper. I uh, see you've brought more guests. Um... And she's like, yeah, um, what, how's it going? Um, just coming in, they, they want to stop by for some tea. Yeah, it's uh, quite some... We just need a little something to keep us going for the rest of the night. Do you have some tea, Ryan? And he kind of, <laughs> roll an insight check, Dash. That's all right. That's They're all going to get poisoned, and there'll be Kenny just sitting on the roof of the truck because everyone uh, is dead. <laughs> so the guy, when she says coming in for some tea, Ryan, the guy kind of like gives her a strange look of a here. Here's here's the description of the look. A, my name's not Ryan. B, this is kind of weird. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Come on in, Ryan. I'd like to meet you. Have a sit down. It's pretty late anyway. Yeah, we, uh, we're going to be going to bed soon. So can't stay too late. Yeah. No, I just, me and Muffin here, we're going to sing a little lullaby, tell a story to the oh. little one here. Okay, for sure. Um, come on in, guys. So, what do you call this place? <laughs> it's not really a town or a settlement or nothing. Okay, did they just? Oh, okay. Never mind. I found them. Yeah, they disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> they teleported. <laughs> Misty stepped inside. Oh, wait, what? Um, does that guy look exactly what I think he looks like? No. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes tokens are just tokens. Don't worry. <laughs> I would tell you if it looked like a red eagle. Oh, there's tokens here? Oh, wait, uh, so this an angel. This, huh? this is Ryan? Uh, Ryan. Ryan? Ryan is the guy walking with you. That was kind of rude. He just brushed off my question, but okay. What did you say? I said, what do you call this place? It's not really a town or nothing. If it's not a town, why do we need a name for it? Don't even call it home. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, it's home. Okay. Sorry, it's just, it's, it's just late. I... Yeah, you know, no, I wasn't no, no. really okay. expecting guests. You know, it's a yeah. Weird. Sorry, oh, sorry not, to just impose on you. Like, yeah, it's I know it's late, but because it is late, we kind of need just a little tea and a break. Long drive, you see. Yeah, sure, whatever, for sure. Uh, come on in, I guess. What's this guy look like? Well, are you getting in between him and them? Well, okay. I can't even oh, oh, see. Oh, it is a guy. <laughs> well, do you want me not to or what? No, I was just, I'm asking, are you getting in between him and the girl? Yeah, yeah, I'm following him. Okay, but like they were, they were behind him is what I'm saying. So are you cutting him off from the girl is what I'm asking. Yes. Okay. But he is headed this way, right? That wasn't yeah, they're heading into the natural. They're heading into the building. I was just wondering if you were blocking him from access to the child. That's what I was asking. Gotcha. Yes, 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 sir. Okay. okay. So you continue walking it. Uh, it's kind of a worn down, like farmhouse type of thing. Um. There's like barns and like stuff like that, but the place is brick and well made, like not well maintained, but 
it stood up to the test of time. We'll just go with that. Um, brick doesn't generally fall apart very quickly. Mm. Um, so you head in, and there's like uh, be- bedrooms off to the sides, and there's a kitchen off in the back, and whatever. And he brings you in, and he's like, come on to the kitchen, and I'll whip you up something. Um, and he takes you over to the kitchen, and he starts opening up cupboards and like looking for stuff. It's like, sorry, we don't really entertain a lot of guests out here. So, um... Oh, it's quite all right. Whatever you got will be fine. All right. And it'll just give it, yeah, we'll just have a moment. I think I think a little muffin... Uh, and I point to the, the dummy on Boone's shoulder. A uh, little muffin wanted to say a, a little good night to the girl before, before we head out anyway. All right. Um... Well, I'll give you a hand around here. Okay, sure. Uh, so he starts opening cupboards and like finds something similar to tea, I guess. Um, and <laughs> goes, uh, calls outside, tells a guy to get some water from the well or whatever. And uh, then it's, it's just him and I in the kitchen. Uh, it's it'd be you and Elaine and him, I would assume. Gotcha. Because Boone, Elle, and Molly are going to a bedroom. Mm-hmm. I'm going to kind of track as much as I can from the kitchen, like which way they go, though. It would just be one of the bedrooms <laughs> off off the entrance. Kenny oh, says so. quietly into a radio, is everything okay? You have more? Yeah. He's just watching the truck. Yeah. Oh, it bit, okay. seems to be a bit of a hazard as of late. <laughs> uh, you know how it is. Like it's a real good thing that uh, that we happen along, Elle and her little niece Molly, because when we drive them over here, we found two fire giants in this in this a little scrapyard. Right, and I watch him. Yeah. Oh, he, he he doesn't really know about the fire giants. Like, that was that was oh. your guys' role, just to be clear. <laughs> like, he doesn't react to Nice. No, he doesn't. I I understand the the point you were making. And he's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so I don't have to roll for that, or? I mean, it wasn't really a deception. You kind of already know what's going on. You're well, you're just basically yeah. Roll a roll persuasion. Oh. That is a 24. 24. Uh, he's like, yeah, for sure. Uh, I didn't know about fire giants. That's that's weird. Um, anyway. Well how, um, well, how long have you known Elle? It says she hadn't been here for a while. Um... Sorry, I, I just blanked for a second. Uh, I guess we've known each other since kids. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, real shame what happened to Mo- uh, little Molly's mom, May. Eh? Yeah, she was telling us about that on the way over. Okay, now roll a deception. Oh, oh dear. Um, that is a, that is a 19 and I'm going to add, ah, let's add all six, make it a 25. I did get a natural 20, but that's only a 22. Um, Holy. Good thing you added some. I suppose. (laughs) Um, yeah. Sure. Okay, um, and he starts boiling some water on a fire. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say good night to L or to Molly as well. I'll be right back. If unless you need an extra hand here for a second. Uh, no, I think I should be good. Thanks. Okay. Uh, you go into the bedroom. Uh, and how Elle far is kinda... down the hallway is like 
how far away are we from the kitchen? Fifteen feet. Oh, so nice and close. Yeah, it's not super far. Like, think of how a house is made. It's like nothing super far away. Mm -hmm. Just waiting to figure out how Kenny knows something's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call oh, you shit. in uh, Kenny we're fine sorry uh, <laughs> I'll let you know if we need you we left him on herd <laughs> <laughs> I got Kenny's distracted like... I heard the message and then completely forgot to respond and I'm <laughs> Kenny said they're, 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 they're all dead they're all dead they're all dead Kenny's halfway home in the truck <laughs> powering up <laughs> Sorry, say again. So, my little story I'm going to be telling a story of a girl who got kidnapped. She was in danger, blah, blah, blah. And then she found some heroes. They saved the day. No one got hurt. She got out of it safe. And so, I'm just kind of telling this big, exciting story for her to have some fantastic dreams. Uh, how does she, okay, how she seems very intrigued by it and like getting into it and all excited? Mm -hmm. how, how did it uh, end the for the kidnappers in that story? Mm, the kidnappers didn't really stay in their fate. The kid got away from the the heroes, the the good guys. They got the kid out of danger. They got her back to her parents, back to her home. We're not sure what happened to the kidnappers. Maybe they went to jail. It's a it's a kid's story. We're not we're not gonna have anything too scary in there. Gotcha. Like that was like me asking out of character, just just in case that wasn't Yeah. That wasn't. Okay. okay, cool. Uh Elle's kind of sitting awkwardly in the corner being like Well, that was a interesting story. Yeah, it was. It's one of my favorites. It's so open ended. Like, you never know just how badly those kidnappers got hurt. Um, yeah, I guess. I, did, do did we you, have a problem? Or do you not usually tell. Sorry. I've never told a bedtime story. No, it was good. One of my favorites. Or, or, okay. Um, I hope you're not trying to like scare her or something. That'd be weird. Was it scary? I didn't mean it to. Ooh, seemed like a pretty happy ending to me. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, like the whole kidnapping thing. That's that's weird. Don't don't talk to kids about that. That's strange. Well, surely you. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. She is only four. Uh, and Ryan calls out and it's like, tea's ready. Uh, guess we should go, you know, have some tea and Let's let Molly some. have a good night's sleep, you know? So let's go. Um, so L stands up and walks out of the room and just, just waiting for you guys. I'll follow L. I'll, I'll cast an unseen servant in this room and then I'll walk out. Uh, what is the components of unseen servant? Somatic? Verbal? Uh, everything. Okay. But like Dash and L left, right? So I mean, and she was waiting for you guys to get come. Oh, I thought. Sorry, I okay. thought. I see Boone hesitate, so I'll uh, I'll try to run run distraction interference, kind of like usher her along. It's like, yeah, it's pretty good smelling tea. He found found something like it anyway. Yeah. Um, no. If is Boone she, coming? Like, are we are we yeah, going to have? 
I'm just, oh, she, yeah, she no. should probably be sleeping. It's pretty late, you know? Oh, it's all right. He loves I, kids. I'm, I'm sure her bedtime... I mean, her bedtime's like... 8, and it's way past that. No, it'll be fine. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah. And she walks to the kitchen. Okay. Then, yeah. No, you cast on sea server. <laughs> Drop a quick unseen servant into in the room. Uh, L kind of like looks at you weird while you're doing this. Sorry, not L, <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Molly, this is one of Muffin's little magic tricks. Her eyes kind of go wide again. Yeah. Is there anything like in the room that it can kind of just pick up and move around for her? Uh, probably yeah. Like, there's a dresser. There's stuff on the dresser. There's a nightstand. There's a chair. Muffin's magic you can do anything. Uh, and then yeah, I'm she, gonna go she get gets some. pretty excited by this. Then you're gonna go get some tea? Don't let mommy know. No. Oh, go down the hallway. Okay. Well, um I don't normally entertain much, but this is what I have, so here you go. I guess. Well, it's appreciated. Yeah, for not entertaining, this is pretty darn good. Is Kenny okay. coming to get any? Kenny, you want some tea? I'm, I'm fine out here. Badoop. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a shy one. That's fair. It's hard to make friends in this world. I feel like outside is just two snipers with their guns trained on each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's three trained on you and one trained uh, on one of them. I only see one. Oh, I see two, but oh, I see all three. OK. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so what is it that you folks do out here? Um survive and you know live off the land and stuff you know it's a farm hunting oh, that's really interesting like that. what uh what are you growing um let's see how this guy's intelligence is <laughs> that's a 19 so not bad actually um, well, you know, uh, just the regular stuff like carrots and lettuce and radishes, um, lots of radishes. Um, do they grow good out here? Then? Well, radishes actually grow good pretty much anywhere. They, uh, take very little to keep them alive. You know, I've never done any farming, so, well, that's fine. Um, but yeah, we, we grow different things, potatoes, um, just stuff that we can eat to keep ourselves, you know, fed well. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Exactly. You get it. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't mind growing some radishes of my own. You got any? That I could buy from you? Some spare seeds, maybe? I mean, not seeds, but I do have radishes. Okay, what what are you all doing here? Like, oh, we you guys brought them. Right. You guys brought them. Like, why are you still here? I don't understand. Are you trying? Are you trying to pull something? Like, I don't. I don't get this. A long time. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting a weird, a, a weird vibe off of this whole situation. Why are you nervous? Is there a radio? Do I see a walkie on any of these guys? Um, L or not? Red? No. How not about on a either. Weapon? A weapon? Yeah. Not not an L. You do see a, a large knife on uh, Ryan. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to try to lock him in in uh, in an intense conversational distraction as I cast Mage Hand, which and is try... it's verbal and somatic. Okay, so I try to lock. So here's 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 the rundown. I try and lock him into a distracting conversation. Don't yeah. pay attention to me casting Mage Hand. Okay. He just needs to work the, the, bunker, like, the words into a conversation. Well, realistically, <laughs> how fast could I cast it and have the, the hand just appear well, and pull the knife out? It's an action, is it not? Yeah. Six seconds. Okay. So it would take you a full six seconds to cast the spell and then a bonus action to get it to move. Is that what it is? Bonus action after that? Just working into a conversation. Um, we believe in you. You can use your action to control the hand. Okay, so it's another action. So 12 seconds total to <laughs> do it. Holy crap. I didn't realize how rough this was. <laughs> okay. So while you're talking to him, you have to spend six seconds casting and then six seconds again to actually do it. All right. Say exactly where, why we're here. It's so that we can omnishtibas nostradamnigos. <laughs> uh, are you actually doing that? <laughs> no, no. That's also for our viewers. Because <laughs> if that was the case, he'd be stabbing you in the throat. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Oh, what was the question again. He wants to know what you're doing here. Like, it, he's getting a weird vibe off of what you like, what's going on, and wants to know why you're here still. I had asked him why are you nervous also before the whole semantic. Oh yeah, yeah. Thing. Sorry, sorry. Um, I mean, a little bit. Like, oh, oh. a bunch of random people show up in my home, and I'm, I'm supposed to just give them tea because they brought L here. Like, well, I mean, no, just L. We asked. You could have said no. Yeah, we brought Mary as we well. Just... I thought he said Molly. Oh, right, Molly. Just wanted to take a break. We drove for like six hours to get her here. You know, we could have told her no and just made him walk. Just quick uh, okay. break and be on our way. There's no reason to be nervous. They've always turned well, us down. A, you all have weapons. B, according it's to my... It's the wasteland. Of course we have weapons. According to what I have been hearing, you have a guy watching your truck who also has weapons. And it's just a little concerning that you are in my home with weaponry at the ready. And... My um, weapons aren't at the ready. It's put as, up. I'm as I said... Tea. It just, everything seems a little bit off with you. If it isn't the kettle being a hypocrite. <laughs> I've you heard find that anything off of, You don't find anything off about this place? Your home? I've lived here for quite some time, so no. <clears throat> no, nothing off about, you know, El's little niece down the hall? No, they're, they're guests. They were invited here. Oh, yeah. See, that's why you should have got your stars. Uh, L, L, like, if you look over at L, her eyes are wide as you brought up niece, and he just went with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try. I'll get back into the hallway, make sure no one can get through, like, get in between them and the hallway to Molly's room. All right, the guy stands up and pulls out two knives. All right, everybody, just be calm. Hell, I've got a question. Yeah? Why does Molly call you L? Well, I don't think that really needs an answer at this point now, does it? 
And no. the the guy stands up and is like, Sometimes right. you need to hear it from the horse's mouth. That's it. We're done here. So, obviously nothing's happening here. You can either uh, walk away, I guess. All right, you shut your mouth and you sit back down. You're not calling any shots anymore. All right, Boone. Boone, go get Molly. Kenny's going to be so screwed. All right. I'll go down the hallway and check on her. Uh, Molly, she's laying is he, in bed. Is he sitting down? He's not sitting down, no. He's got two knives drawn. Um, is there a lock on the inside of this door? No. Like, there's, Molly a lock, there's a lock on the outside. <laughs> Ooh. That's no good. Um... Okay, I'm going to say, Molly, take this chair, put it up against the door. Don't come out until I, you hear my voice, okay? Uh, she just nods at you. We're going we're gonna to get you up. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's, that, that's good. She's good with that. All right. So... As I tried saying before you so rudely interrupted, um, we can settle this pretty simply. You can walk away and forget this ever happened, or I can have my men come in here and we'll start an all out gunfight and likely end up hurting some innocents in the crossfire. No, you're right. We can do this simply. Uh, we're taking the girl, or I'm putting two bullets in your head. How, okay, do we see, like, the uh, main entrance where we come in from where we are? Yeah, it's a straight shot. Okay, and there is a door on it? Yeah. yeah. I was like, alright, everybody just calm down, and I whisper and do the whole mage hand thing. <laughs> and... With the 12 seconds? For the 12 seconds, yeah. Hey, again, he's going to try and stab you in the neck. He can't be that close. How close? No, as soon as he, he goes to try knives. and stab him, I'm shooting him. Okay, he is going to throw a knife at your <clears throat> throat. Oh, shit, things are going to go downhill fast. <laughs> uh, that's a to 19 to hit, Dash. Yeah, that'll hit. All right, that is six points of piercing damage. As it, it's not going to hit your throat, obviously, because that's not. Yeah, kill you. <laughs> that wasn't <a> critical. <laughs> but the point was to stop you from casting a spell, um, and it stabs into uh, like the shoulder, like area. Obviously, he missed any anything vital, um, and that's six points of piercing damage as a knife goes in. He's like. All right, I guess we're doing yeah. this. So that was like no initiative that just happens. Uh, uh, well, that just happens. Elaine really also is going to shoot, and then we're rolling initiative yeah. here. And is that the was gunshot audible outside? The gunshot would be audible, but you don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, silence. but I heard a gunshot, so I'm going to shoot. <laughs> uh, and he's going to take nine points of initiative. damage from me, Mad. Nine. Yeah. I'm assuming I have to wait to initiative to shoot because I hear it. Uh, yes. Um, I'm going to do that again because I get advantage that, on initiative. That's how we rolled initiative. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Damn. I did not do good. Okay. No, nor did I. I got a 10 in real life and to... on the computer. <laughs> Change that back to the 14. Kenny's gonna have a lot of people shooting at him. <laughs> uh, sorry, what was happening? Uh, who said what? Uh, I think I was just kind of talking out loud. 
I had yeah. to fix my initiative again. Yeah, I'm just preparing Did you fix your to initiative? die. Yeah, because I get advantage on all initiative rolls, so I had to roll twice, but mm. I had to put it back to the higher. Okay, after the gunshot good. goes off, uh, the three snipers that were trained on you, uh, Kenny, one fires. Was that the noise of the gun going off? Oh, he's far away, I see. <laughs> well, it's silenced. <laughs> um, so That's a 24 to hit. It hits. Um, that was not a natural 19, shucks. Uh, eight points of piercing damage. Okay. It's now your go. Okay, here we go. Unleash the fury. That's an 18, so I'm going to use a point to make it a crit. I'm powered okay. up. Okay. So I'm going to use one point to do more damage, another point to do more damage, and just give me a little bit and a calculator. Give you a little bit and a calculator? I, yeah. I need a calculator. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of numbers going to get stacked up here. <laughs> And now, where's my D8? Oh, that was the D8. Okay, that is 54 points of damage. What? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy just right here that you're shooting? Yeah, the close one. Okay, well, he's dead. Okay, Jeez. then magic bullet is... Wait. I can't magic bullet, but I can just use a different action that gives me another shot to shoot at him. Okay. Do another crit. <laughs> I didn't, but does a 19 hit? Uh, yes. Okay, that will be... Only 18 damage. Only. Only 18. <laughs> you know how last game I said, oh, I could have done more damage? Yeah, that was the yeah. more damage. There it is. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, well, prick, awesome, great. Um, it's now this guy's turn. Who um, he is going to shoot me? I assume over here. <laughs> he is going to attempt to shoot you twice. That is a twenty-three for the first shot. That hits. And nineteen for the second one. That hits. Okay, so for the first rifle shot, that is 12 points of piercing damage. And for the second rifle shot, that is 14 points of piercing damage. Oh, man. <laughs> He's not going to live long, but he did some damage on his one turn. <laughs> Boone, what are you doing? Um, so Ryan threw a knife. I shot him. L doesn't appear to have a weapon on her, right? L does not appear to have a weapon. Okay. I will. I will use suggestion. Yeah. I'll use suggestion on L and I'll say call off the snipers, we'll take Molly, we'll get out of your hairs. Any trouble. The suggestion is uh wisdom. Jeez. Okay. That's an eight. <laughs> hey. So 
Okay, well, she can't do anything until her turn anyway, so. Yep. Do with that, that as you will. Is that all? That's all you. That's my turn. I'm still I'm still blocking the hallway best I can. Hey, okay. uh, Elaine. Oh, actually, uh... I'll, I'll I'll give some inspiration to. Uh, I guess Elaine. <laughs> Whoever's closest to me, as my allies. Uh, I guess probably the closest one would be Elaine or Dash, I guess. Okay, Elaine can have some inspiration. All right. Um, well, I don't get Ghost, but uh, I'm going to shoot Ryan again. <laughs> I like how you are saying the name. <laughs> Okay. No. Uh, I'm on a procedural memory that <laughs> to a natural twenty. Nice. I went from an eight to a nat twenty. Say <laughs> so that was a natural twenty. Yeah, after I did procedural memory, so that's sixty-six. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. I actually did two more damage to that first guy. <laughs> Twenty-eight points of damage to him. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and the and... other one is a crit. I need to read. That sucks. I did a lot more damage than I thought. We're <laughs> off, Nathan. <laughs> uh, and then he, they have disadvantage on attacks against me until the beginning of my next turn. Okay. Dash. <laughs> okay. All right. So I would like to cast Witch Bolt on uh, on Ryan. Okay. <clears throat> Does an eighteen hit him? Just. Ooh, that was close. Okay. So yeah, like all this magenta energy crackles and arcs uh, from my hand uh, to uh, to him, and he takes. Oh dear. Well, that one's gone forever. <laughs> oh, he takes one. One lightning damage. Nice. Does he die? And I'd like <laughs> <laughs> I'd uh, I'd like to try to get my second action. And I do. Uh, so with my move and second action, I'm going to go to the door and shut and lock it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> You're on your own, Ken. Why? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> well, when you uh, see people knocking at the door, you'll know Kenny is very dead. <laughs> hey, as you go and shut the door, uh, you shut the door and immediately somebody like runs into it. <gasps> oh, that's another person I'm going to have to fight. Yay. Let's roll a strength check for him. It's a 13. I'd say that's not going to make it. Um, it's now Ryan's turn, who is going to um, grab a knife from the counter and throw one at both uh, Elaine and Dash. And he'll have disadvantage on the one against me. Perfect. That's an eight, then. Goes wide. Okay. Um, so then the other one is a natural 20. Oh. Hey, what's the damage? Uh, uh, that is 11 points of piercing damage. Okay, and I gotta make a concentration check. You sure do. Oh, that should be okay. Um, that's it's a 16. Gotta be, gotta be a 10. So yeah. You're good. 10. Okay, 11 points, you say? Yes. This guy is going to run up towards this door. <gasps> this guy is going to take another shot at Kenny. <laughs> I did so much more damage than I thought. Okay. Is this guy not in initiative? No, he's not. I'm sad now. I might have done like a hundred damage if I rolled the right die and did everything right. The, I'd say <laughs> I'm gonna say this guy is aiming at the door up here. Um. Anyway, Kenny, does a nine hit? No. Shucky darns. <laughs> uh, Kenny, your turn. 
I'm gonna shoot at the guy that's close. Does a... That is a... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a 27. Does a 27 hit? Uh, 27 misses. Yeah, oh, 27 shots. hits. <laughs> Did L go? 22 uh, damage. No, I guess. L is not in initiative. Sorry, thank you for reminding me. Uh, she... <laughs> the snipers, if she can. Oh, yeah. Um... She doesn't have anything on her, so she tries running to the door, but Dash just closed it. <laughs> Can't figure out how to unlock a door from the inside. Well, Dash just closed it, so he's standing in front of the door. I would assume. Okay, this is the door to the exterior of the building, correct? That I closed? Correct. Yes. Okay. Well, it lasts for a minute. She'll figure something out. <laughs> okay, I gotta let the dog out. I'll be right back. <laughs> what do you guys watch the stream on while you're playing? My second laptop. So... <laughs> Actually, rating properly through my actual max damage with one bullet is 93. Holy. Wow. Because with power ups, awesome. it steps up a damage die, so it's a d10, and it's double. If I roll crit, I can make it three. If I get to level five, it's rolling everything twice, so that's 60, 10, plus 4d6, plus five, plus two. Technically, it's unlimited the amount of damage you can do. Because if you roll max damage on your damage dice, you roll it again and keep adding if you get maximum Wait. at power rank four. Oh, man. I missed that one. Yeah, there's unlimited damage to this thing. Because <laughs> I rolled a few maximum, so I should have done a lot more. <laughs> okay, I'm going to redo that attack. <laughs> knowing how no, much no. I actually do. We're in initiative. Don't do this. <laughs> it's about to be your turn anyway. Oh, uh, no. Uh, no, my turn just... I did my turn already. Oh, did yeah. you? I don't know if he's done the damage, but... Uh, I don't even I remember the damage you did or what you hit. I was shooting at the close guy and did 22 damage, but other people started doing stuff, so I don't think anyone heard. Oh, right. No, we just asked a question. Well, my Discord yeah. died right then and there, so... The other people were doing yeah, I didn't stuff, remember. so it got tuned. So, it's fine. As long as I don't yeah, get skipped. Yeah, you're good. I just didn't remember. Because <laughs> I'm pretty so sure I'm going to die on before... the back of this truck. <laughs> I'll be honest before Madison gets back. I want to take the people in here out, grab Molly, and bolt to the truck. I want to get on my the radio. Plan of action. Tell... I want to get on the radio and tell Kenny to get the truck to us. Yeah, you just I hear just a bunch of gunshots outside the door. <laughs> the problem is Kenny doesn't know exactly in, where in here we went. No. You saw the gate we went through. I don't know. Well, I guess there's not much option once I get in the gate, but... And I don't think Kenny knows how to drive. Kenny, well... It's like a kid. I think he, like, he has an idea how to drive. Whether or not he'll actually successfully do it might be another yeah, story. Yeah, you just step on the pedal, you steer... <laughs> if you turn it this way, you go one way. If you go this way, you go the other. What else is there you and need what, to know? <laughs> and what better vehicle to actually practice than an armored truck? Gets in, guns it, shoots backward. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't call it the Prindle, we'll be good. <laughs> the Prindle? Would you prefer yeah. an or f? But Kenny most likely would not know how to turn on the truck or how to put it into gear. <laughs> so you'll be like, bring well, me the truck, make... and then you'll just hear like, 
engine start. He figured that one out. Then just hear the engine loudly rev, but not get any closer. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the engine keep turning over as he's trying the key again. <laughs> <laughs> it died. I tried the starter too many times. <laughs> I could have sworn you had a full charge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, can he go? Uh, I did 22 damage on this guy. <laughs> That's just enough to kill him. Yes! <laughs> nice. Sniper versus sniper, only he's full health and I'm almost dead. <laughs> well, there's two more snipers, but one is aimed at the door. Yeah, so it's only sniper versus sniper. <laughs> Okay, so hmm, this guy having just seen the door close is going to roll an attack and I'm going to give him disadvantage on said attack because he's shooting at the door. So one is a natural 20 and the other one's a 19. Okay. Okay. Does 19 hit? It, it does, yeah. Okay, then that is 10 points of piercing damage. Oh, what a dick. So a giant hole blasts through the door and you see splinters of wood go everywhere and it pierces through your shoulder and you're like, damn this place. All right, that's another uh, concentration check. Yeah. Right on, that's uh, tw uh, 17. Nice. Yes. Yeah, you're good. Uh, Boon. So, is it basically me, Elaine, Dash, L, and then Ryan? Like, I'm not going to run past Ryan if I quick walk up to Dash and go back. L or... and Dash are at the door? Yeah. Uh, Ryan is at the head of the table. And Elaine, I assume, is kind of at the table as well. Yeah, kind of I'm near the I'm, hallway. I'm just thinking for, like, attacks of opportunity. I'm not worried you're about not, that. You're not going to get hit. Okay. I'm going to run up to Dash and do a quick cure wounds on him and then Ooh. go back to the hallway. Keep fighting, soldier. And I'll, I'll give you some inspiration as well. Oh, dang. Ooh. Uh, so you get nine health. Nice. Nice. That's okay. my turn. Uh, Elaine. All right. Uh, do some more shooting. Okay. Um. Twenty. Three to hit? Uh, yeah, that hits. Were, were you actually questioning that? Yeah, I was questioning my math in my head. Okay. It, it took me a second. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? We're gonna expend a hit die. Oh. To make that a nat 20. Uh-oh. So that's... Videos for Ryan. How hurt does he look? If, uh, if I had to, if if I had to give it a scale of one to fifty one, I would give it a twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hundred hit points and it's forty four. I think we got him. <laughs> Exactly 22 points of damage. <laughs> All right, so you pull out your wet, you <laughs> twist your hand so it's a kill shot, and you pop, <laughs> pop a cap, and he uh, gets hit in the chest and like, grabs at his chest and starts falling to the ground. It's like, this is why we don't entertain guests, and he falls to the ground dead. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna use my movement to start running down the hallway and I'm gonna kind of drag Boone with me or 
Not necessarily uh, drag, but... Yeah, but kind of motion. Yeah. Like, come on. I... Like, we gotta get her. Yeah. Can I free action just kind of say to Dash, let L out? Sure. What do you mean let out? Like, don't block her from leaving. Are you sure? Uh... Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's Dash's turn. Oh. I open the... I, like, get out of the way of the door and I throw it open. Okay. <laughs> uh, when you do that, this guy comes charging in. <laughs> Wait. You just okay. opened the door for him. <laughs> he, he was winding up to shoulder check it. Yeah, this guy comes running in and uh, pushes L to the side because he knows who L is. And um, first person he sees would be Boone, because you kind of got behind the door, right? Could I use my action to shoot him? Were you doing anything else once you opened the door, after you got well, behind the I door? Once I opened the door, everything just sort of happened. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> you have a turn once you open the door. Like, okay. what are you doing? Like, would you know that this guy's coming in? Because you got behind the door, right? No, I wouldn't know that, but I know it now. So it's he hard would have to heard the a... guy pounding on the door trying to get in the last round. Well, he ran into the door, yes. But then the door also got shot, so. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was not gun safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so was he pounding on the door as I got out of the way? or uh, He wasn't pound like he was backing up to charge again type of thing. Okay. All right. No, it, it just yeah, it just happens. He runs in. All right. Hit me with your best shot. Fire okay. away. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if he just runs in, yeah, we're going to multi-range boon here. That is a nineteen and a twenty-one to hit. Yeah, they hit. Uh, okay, so he opens fire with his assault rifle, and that is 22 points of piercing damage. In one hit? No. That's for both oh. of them. Okay. So you get oh. hit by two bullets. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Hit by two bullets. I was worried for a second. Goes right. running off. Uh, I will be right back. Yeah, I right. just asked for con saves. That's why. Yeah. I'll be right back. One sec, sorry. Ay, ay, ay. Hope you guys make it out yeah, in time yeah. to save Kenny. Oh, no. that's what I meant to do on my last turn. <laughs> L is gonna I was going to say, you. Kenny, start the truck. Because there's very little chance that Kenny survives a one-on-one -on -one fight when he's, like, one shot away from dying and the other guy is perfect condition. Is this... Have you been prone on the truck? Yes. Out of curiosity? Okay. So I do have my plus two, but they've been rolling 19 plus. Well, at least you still have it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, L L's going to save you. Don't worry, Kenny. She's a double agent. <laughs> But please don't go unconscious because I'm running low on spell slots. Yeah, if uh, Kenny here start the truck, there may or may not be a response of how. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's back. All right, you've seen Dash do this a hundred times. <laughs> what was Dash doing? <laughs> uh, I meant on my turn to radio for Kenny to start the truck, but I'll just do it next round. That's fine. Okay, hey, you can do that. It's free action. It's fine. Okay. So can he start the truck? Okay. Um, okay, I need I need to ask a question about your spell that you have cast on. on oh, L. do you still have it? Yeah, I passed okay. my save. Saves? Well, I got shot twice, didn't I? Yeah, so like two? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. I rolled okay. 12 and 12. Okay, so to ask about the spell. 
Um, it's suggestion. Is that what you use? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So do I have to spend my entire turn doing that or do I have to just do it and then I can do something? Uh, the suggestion must be worded uh, to make it sound reasonable. Uh, on a failed save, which happened, it pursues the course of action I described to the best of their ability. The suggested course of action can continue for the entire duration. Um, so yeah, she just has to try to do that to the best of her ability. Okay. So she's just going to... Uh, I'll post it in there if you want to read. Yeah, so she's going to poke her head out the door and it's like... Uh, just yell out, snipers, stand down. And then she kind of like shakes her head and she's like... All right, if that's how we're going to play things, let's do it. Um, and she is going to cast. Fireball. Should I? Yeah, let's do it. Nathan. <laughs> you need to stop giving the DM ideas. Oh, uh, I have ideas, don't worry. Yeah, well, he's not helping us. Likely. Um, okay, so you guys are all kind of like standing in the hallway, right? All of you? Uh, <laughs> I'm close to her. I'm close to the you're, door. You're behind the door, correct? Lane? Somewhere there. Dash? Yeah, like, the way I picture it is you open the door towards yourself and you kind of just like, we're letting her out type of thing because you didn't oh, want to gotcha. get shot again. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's That's how I kind of figured it. Um, I like the are you all close together question. No, I'm asking like if you're in the line in the hallway. Dash, you're out of this if you because if you're behind the door, then that's how it is. Okay. She's going to kind of stand in the doorway and she lifts up her hands and kind of like forms them like a little arc like this. And you see uh, fire start to form. Um, I need uh, each creature in this hallway. So boone uh the the guy who just ran in and elaine to roll a dexterity saving throw procedural okay. memory <laughs> you do also have advantage or er, inspiration for per whatever. inspiration wouldn't have helped on that one but uh, uh. <laughs> it's a natural one inspiration doesn't do much <laughs> uh, it wasn't a natural one but it was a it was a three uh, so now it is a... I rolled a 23. 22. 23 and 22? Yeah. So you guys both succeed. However, you do take half damage. This is where I reveal I'm a rogue. <clears throat> so you guys both take 15 points of fire damage. And Boone the dude the in the hallway the takes 30 points of fire damage. Oh. Uh, and Dash, you see this arc of a uh, cone of flame go out from hands you assume are elves on the other side of the door. And you're like, well, glad I wasn't there. Oh, for heck's sake. Boone is down. Oh, Boone is down. Okay. I had exactly 15. Oops. Uh, okay. I should have taken the second hit die for that one more hit point. <laughs> um, This guy is going to continue running towards the door. Yeah, he can get to the door, but not inside. Um, and now it's this guy's turn who is going to shoot at Kenny. But he was told to stand down. Come on. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, he was. Never mind. Kenny, it's your go. Kenny? It's going to try to drive the truck. <sighs> but let me get this straight. I thought, said, I thought they just said start the truck. Well, I, I told you to start the truck. Yes. He takes initiative. I like him. Yes, he's a leader. But 
He also doesn't know how to drive the truck or do anything. So what do I roll? An intelligence check, please. Two minus one. <laughs> so one? Yes. Uh, you don't know how to turn it on. Hadoop. How do you start it? Hadoop. <laughs> This guy's turn, not gonna do anything. <laughs> Boom, roll a death save, please. Ooh. Not good. Carry on. <laughs> Was that a natural <laughs> one or? Ah, uh, just a fail. Okay. Elaine. I don't want. Uh... Actually, I'm not gonna tell you. I wanna keep you all guessing. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> there, there, there is a form of the game where the dungeon master rolls death save. <laughs> and no one knows it's in there. Yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm conflicted. Uh... Do you want to kill the B word who just lit you on fire, or do you want to save Boone's life? <laughs> Wait, is Pretty Boone much. the B word? <laughs> uh, I'd also suggest telling me how to turn the truck on at some point. <laughs> <laughs> More pressing matters at hand. Dash, can you deal with her? Well, fine. Yeah, yeah, I got her. Uh, I am going to use a medicated bandage on Boone. You run over to Boone, just start patting out the flame, and then you start wrapping up burn marks. Um, and that's a medicine. Uh, I add my medicine to it. And then the medicated ones are 2d8? Yeah. 2d8 plus your modifier. 11. Boom. 11 health? Yeah. Thank you. One bone, I need you alive. We need to worry more about Molly. Yeah, well, I need your help with that, too. Um, and I'm just going to use my movement and I'm going to start. Just trying to, like, get into the room. Uh, did she actually, like, if I try the door, did she actually, like, block it with the chair? Like Boone asked uh, her to? Yeah, I, I would assume so. Okay. I don't know how oh, well doesn't. she did because she is a four-year-old, but... Can I know. try and open the door then? Uh, sure. <laughs> so Just you you grab at the door and it like is a bit tougher to open, but you're still able to open it. And she, as soon as you, like, push open the door, she immediately, like, covers herself up in a blanket. Molly, sweetheart. Molly. Harlan. It's all right. Uh, it's not Boone's voice. <laughs> I don't know that. So, I'm trying. Well, I, I know, but I'm saying Boone was, the, Boone said, don't, don't respond unless it's my voice. Said don't open the door unless it's my voice, but she is four. Yeah. This is scary. There's a lot of gunfire and fire and stabbiness. Um, is that what you're doing then? That's your turn? Yeah, yeah. that's pretty much all I can do because it's my action to heal him. So. Dash. Okay. I'm going to close the door. All right, I, I rolled uh, preemptively to see if I get my extra action this turn, and I do. So with my attack action... I want to reach both my hands and cup her mouth so she can't use any verbal components while at the same time using shocking grasps on her face. Uh, okay. All right, so what do you want first? <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing, isn't it? Oh, the, You're rolling to attack like, twice. One's kind of like a, a grapple and one's an attack. Um... How do you still have spells? It's a cantrip. Shocking grasp is a cantrip. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
So, so roll, you like first? Roll, well, the thing is, both of them are like a touch attack, right? So roll a strength check either way. Like roll Okay, well, I'm just going to roll the shocking grasp attack first. Okay. Then. Touch attack? Is this third edition? Um. Okay, what I'm going to use... What? I'm being made fun of by my player. It is a touch attack. What do you mean? It's a melee. It's a melee no. attack. Shocking grasp is touch. I don't know. If I think he's it. making yeah, fun of the way you worded it. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I got to use my uh, last um, good guess. Oh my goodness. Shocking grasp okay. range is touch. Does a 15 hit? Uh Oh! I've got inspiration. How about an 18? 15 did not hit, but 18 does, yes. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so I successfully do the shocking grasp. Oh, for the full eight damage. And now she can't take any reactions. And now what do you want for me to like successfully keep my hand on uh, her mouth? Strength. So she can't use what? Strength. Strength, you bet. I do have proficiency in unarmored and I can use or unarmed and I can use wisdom for that. Okay. If that counts or just straight it, up strength. It, it's not an attack though. Okay. So it, it is just a strength. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a 21. Uh, she rolled a three. So I think you're good. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> she's not a very strong person. <laughs> oh, um, thank goodness. This could be very embarrassing. However, there is a man behind you who is going to take out a knife and stab you twice. I closed the door. He was still in the room. He shot. Oh, him, right. Remember? He ran in the room. Oh, dear. Um, you Hurry are up! very lucky. I rolled a seven and a six. Oh, can she take the puncture wounds? No. <laughs> he's behind shield. you. <laughs> Um, okay, and then it's her turn. Let's see if she has any spells that are just somatic. Um, nope, 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 nope. Oh, everything's verbal. Weird. <laughs> That's fine. So yeah, she uh, is just gonna try and fight you off, I guess. Wait. Yes, <laughs> she's just gonna try and fight you off. Um. <laughs> Every single spell she has is verbal. Uh, so roll a strength check versus hers. How did she do? No, that's not how this works. <laughs> I got a nine. I also got a nine. So you guys are equally matched and she able to pull your hand off for a second? I don't know. Uh, when did you- Action. Yeah, when she. Yeah, that's true. Well, then, yeah, I guess we're done. Um, this guy is going to run into the door that you just closed. Um, <laughs> this guy's doing nothing. Kenny. Well, since nobody told me how to start the truck, I'm going to keep trying to figure it out. <laughs> Does a 12 start the truck? Yes, there's a button that says press to turn on. Okay, do I know how to put it into gear? <laughs> That'd be another intelligence check. Natural 20. <laughs> uh, you're like, oh, this thing, and you put it into gear. But you put it into reverse first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I start driving the truck in. I don't know if Is I have time for that. Room? I don't know if that's next turn or this turn or how okay. you'll do that, but I start moving the truck. And yet uh, I nothing. definitely give it too much gas. 
<laughs> Boon. So is it just the two enemies in the room right now? Uh, yes. There's one guy outside the door. Shoot! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, this might be silly. Uh, where is it here? How big is this room? It's a hallway, so it's not super wide, probably about at most like seven, eight feet wide. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. Is that a free action or is that a bonus action to open the door? It'd be a free action. I don't think it'd be hard. Okay. I'm gonna open the door, cast slow on the three enemies I can see, and then close the door. You're talking about like, where were okay. you? Well, I was in the hallway with Elaine. Which Are you is, saying like, you're opening the door as in, like, the front door? Yeah, to see the enemy that was hitting the door okay. trying to get okay, in. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Do they yes. have to roll something, or is that just an automatic thing? Um, Each of them makes a wisdom save. Okay. Okay, so the guy who is running at the door rolled a 17. Okay, so he's fine. Um... L rolled a 24 and then the other guy rolled a 12. Well, at least one of them slowed. Minus two to AC and dexterity saving throws. Hey, that, that's nice. You can use only an action or a bonus action. Can't use reactions. If they're making a spell, it might not go off this turn. It's pretty good. Okay, then that works. Uh, Elaine. Oh, are you uh, doing anything else? Are you good? Um, other than just kind of going back to the hallway, I don't know if I saw Elaine go into the room with Molly yet. But you I heard me. You, you to saw, yeah. Talk okay. to Molly. Then I'll I'll kind of go in. Molly, she's safe. The but. blank blank comes off the head, and she looks at you. That's it. Um. Okay, then dash. Okay, uh, so you skipped me. Oh, Elaine. Yeah. Because we're just double checking if uh, yeah, Boone yeah, is yeah. doing anything else. Um. Okay, I'm gonna grab Molly, blanket it all, and kind of try and cover her head a little bit. We're gonna get you out of here. Don't worry. And I'm gonna start heading back down the hallway. Like to the uh, kitchen? Yeah, like to try and like head back, like kind of coming out, but like t just towards the end of the hallway where I can kind of see what's going on. Okay. Um, and I want to kind of press her up to my chest and try and like cup over her ears as much as I can. Okay. Uh, And just go, cover your ears, this is going to be loud, and I'm going to shoot at L. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and do the whole, like, turn my body one way with her facing this way and my arm as far out as I can to try cool. the distance. <laughs> um, that's not going to hit, but I will expend another hit die to do a nat 20 because that's How only many, a do you have left? two no three sorry oh i guess you you weren't like hurt for the... mm -mm. i haven't used any of my hit dice so i'm at three and that automatically makes it a natural 20 which counts as me having advantage <laughs> um Holy. 
Maybe 26 points of damage. Holy. Nice. That, okay. Um, and I will also go ahead and use once in the head on that attack, which is three times my level in additional damage. So 15? Yeah. Okay. So we'll lay in rounds at the corner, holds the gun up and dash like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> 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 um, um, I'm going to just try and press myself up against the like wall as much as I can to kind of cover Molly from any fire so like facing the wall like I'll have my back to whatever's going on okay um, dash okay it'll it'll be an action to uh, continue this grapple um Yes. Okay, I'm gonna try to roll to get my extra action right now then. Oh, and I do not. So I'll just use my regular action to sustain it. Maybe. Oh, that's pretty good. That's another 21. I don't think she can get to that. So I think you're good. Okay. And I will uh, back myself um, away. Like, I'm. I don't know the layout of this kitchen. Is there like a, a corner near the door that I can kind of back into and use her as a meat shield in case anyone else tries to stab me or shoot me? Uh, yeah, you could. I do that. Okay. Um, it's now this guy's turn. Uh, Boone, you're the only one still in the hallway then, hey? Nice. I'm like right at the edge of the hallway. I'm just pressed up against the wall with Molly, like, facing the wall, kind of shielding her. Okay, well, he is going to take out a knife and trying to attack you twice there, Boone. Uh, and that is a seven and a seven. Those ones will miss. Okay. Um, it's L's turn. And... Wait, was, was that the slow guy? Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, I guess only one attack, so a okay. seven. Do you want me to reroll? Doesn't matter, but... <laughs> I just want him to feel bad. <laughs> he feels so bad. Good. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. Elle's turn, and I don't think she can actually do anything, so there's no point in me. Yeah. No. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Awesome. Love it. Um, <laughs> freaking do it to all my wizards. <laughs> Let's drown her. <laughs> uh, yeah, can I, can I plug her nose too? <laughs> uh, roll a strength check, please. Oh, that is a 14. He rolled a 19. She rips your hands off, kicks you in the balls, and tries and run away. I hope so that's you, just for flavor. You get, it, <laughs> you get an attack of opportunity if you want to. I'm like, right. oh. Okay, it has to be melee. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, Sure, let's give her a, a punch in the back of the head. Uh, it's a 16. 16? Okay. She runs to the other side of the kitchen. Um... 16 does hit though but that's a d4 plus strength um that's four total yeah so she's on the other side of the kitchen now no oh, sorry five okay um the door is closed again right boom yeah i opened it to try to hit him with the slow and then i closed it Okay, he runs into the door, um, but as he gets to the door, he sees there's a hole in the door, um, and he looks through it and points his gun in and um, shoots at, I guess, Boone is pretty much the only one there. Actually, I guess Elaine is also sure he does, like, the Yeah, I'm job. there. I'm just kind of <laughs> to block anything from. Uh, right there, uh, real quiet. It? Does a 16 hit you, Boone? Yeah. 
Uh, that is 14 points of piercing damage. Okay. That That is actually giving him disadvantage as well. The other one was a natural 20. Um, that's... Well, it doesn't affect anything. Uh, this guy is not doing anything. Kenny. So, question. Can you make a truck dash? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yes technically uh, you would need to roll a maneuver check which is your vehicle proficiency which would be your dexterity that's a plus three I can do it <laughs> with disadvantage yeah it's a truck <laughs> it's okay all, all, all Kenny rolls is natural 20s anyway so. 16 nice I don't think I've ever heard Kenny roll below a roll below a ten. I right? rolled a one with the start the truck earlier. <laughs> oh, I guess that's true. Okay, uh, sixteen. I don't think that actually works, but I'll give it to you. What are you doing? Well, I it won't be able to do it this turn, but next turn I'm just gonna gun it straight towards the door, not realizing vehicles need space to slow down. Thanks. Nothing. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Roll a death save, Boom. You excited for this catch? <laughs> Your truck just plowing through the door. Death save rolled. Okay. Elaine. Um. I'm gonna do. Kind of the same thing, and I'm gonna take another shot toward L. She's now in the kitchen, by the way. Am I able to still see her from the hallway or no? You'd have to move to the other side of the hallway, but yes. Okay. Um, but I can see at least one of the other guys from yeah. where I'm at. Yeah, there's um, a, a guy in the hallway with you. I'll just shoot the one in the hallway then. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm not going to worry about her just a second. Oh, I still have that inspiration. Uh, eight plus. It's a D6, right? D8. D8. We're inspired by Boone's multiple deaths. Mm -hmm. What a fearless leader. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's a 21 to hit, then. That is. Uh, that's 10 points of damage, because I did not have my advantage stuff on that. Nice. That ends your turn, though? Um. Yeah, I'm not going to try and move through people with Molly. Okay. Dash. Hey, I'm going to pull my autoloader, which should still have some special ammunition on it. And I'm going to try to shoot um, L. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a 22. That hits. Okay, so she takes uh, six damage, and she is stunned. Oh, no, hang on. She has to roll a save. Come on. That's right. Hm. I forgot about that. No, it's just a success. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> I think you're good. She got a nine. I believe nice. it's a 12. Nice. Okay, I'll see if I got another action this turn. And I don't, so I'm going to run Shit. to the hallway and take cover with Elaine. Uh, sorry, how much damage should she take? Because it should be a... Six? Yeah, a D6 plus, plus my modifier, right? Eh? Yeah, but shouldn't she also take a D4 for electric, I believe? I wasn't given that, but uh, yes, yes, you're absolutely right. That is another two damage. Pretty sure that 
gives extra damage based on the lightning. And what about your witch bolt? Did that ever go off? It did. It did, but oh. the guy died. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, that ends your go then, correct? Yeah. All right. This guy is going to take a shot at, now that both of you are standing at the end of the hallway, is going to take a shot at both you and Elaine. Uh, that is a 24 and a 22. Oh dear. I think both those oh, uh, are I'm talking Which one about. do you want? Quick question. <laughs> um, is this the guy that I just shot? Yes. Was he within... Uh... Oh, no, never mind. I no, I don't think that works. Okay. So, El Elaine, you take five points of piercing damage. And dash you take eight points of piercing damage as he does a wave of assault rifle and both you take a bullet each that's terrible aim <laughs> it's <laughs> spray turn. and pray yeah it's l's turn now and she can cast again she's stunned all right she is she does nothing <laughs> it's this guy's turn who is going to poke his uh, gun through the hole again and hope for the best. Um, dash. That's a 20. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Uh, that is 10 points of piercing damage. Oh. Nothing, nothing. And Kenny, are we doing this? Yes, Kenny is gunning it straight towards the door. All right. <laughs> so I need you to roll another maneuver check please which is just your straight dexterity it's a 15 okay good enough you just hammer down on the gas because you don't really know how this works <laughs> uh, dash you hear uh, uh, that's a terrible wheel spinning sound but you hear the sound <laughs> of wheels spinning out on the ground the ground outside um, as you hear that, you hear a crash as he crashes through a few things on the ground out here, and you hear a thud as he hits a guy, <laughs> and then you see I turn wall. my back on the whole place where it sounds like it's coming through and try to grab a lane at the same time. You see the wall just cave in. Uh, God, I hope I'm not in the way of the car. You're not. You're far, far enough ahead. The car isn't going to keep on going. It stops when it hits the wall. You see the the door and the wall just fall in. Uh, so the guy who just shot you got hit. The guy who was inside also got hit. And now Kenny is there kind of up on brick and a door. And he... Oh, yeah. He's there now. I just stick my head out the window. Hey, guys! I drove the truck! <laughs> Uh, that being said, what do you guys do? Where's Boone? He is kind of in between you and Elaine, but on the floor. Past Grab up. Boone. Are we sorry? Are we still in initiative orders? Uh, I'm kind of you. He just killed off two of them, so <laughs> no. So you guys kind of got to figure out what you're doing. All right, I'll stole my weapons and grab Boone. And throw him over my shoulder. Is Muffin and I'm just... firmly attached? <laughs> You're leaving Muffin behind? Honestly, Dash doesn't care. It's like to, to Dash, Muffin's just a toy. <laughs> uh, Boone, is Muffin firmly attached? Um, I, I, my hand's in him. Uh, well, there you go. Oh, so he's like Mr. Hat. Okay. So uh you grab... So I'm unconscious, I'm not like firmly grasping, but, but he it's attached. Yeah, yeah it, it uh, should be pretty good. Anyway, so you grab Boone, Elaine, you have Molly held tightly, and you both make a mad dash for the truck and you hop in. Um as you both hop in, how long I think it would only was it only one round that they're stunned for there, Dash? Uh, that Yeah, that bullet only lasts until like this. Yeah. 
Okay, so as you both hop in, you see L pop out from around the corner. Uh, I assume, Dash, you push Kenny out of the way. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll scream, get your head down. <laughs> uh, no, I'm saying you push him out of the way so you can drive. I'm oh. assuming. Or do you get trust him to get you out of here? Oh, well, did he open the door to the truck or? No. Nope. He rolled down the window. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, if I've got Boone on me, I'd probably okay. head for the back seat. Okay, so, Let's do okay. this! <laughs> Alright, so uh, if that's the case, um, let's... Kenny and... Uh, Kenny and L are going to roll an initiative check to see who gets to uh, do this first. Do I need to make another death save? Yes. Come on, good. Seven. All right. Shit. Oh, uh, you still beat her. So you roll a maneuver check. 18. 18. The other was a natural right. 20. All right. So <laughs> you back out as quickly as you can. And you just spin the wheel and you do a full like 180. And you're like, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Um, And then you shift it down into drive and just spin out your tires again. As you do this, you see Dash, you turn around and you see a large ball of fire forming in L's hands. <laughs> I'm just going to say it was entirely not intended. He Can he just gunned it and turned the oh, no. wheel and it just yeah. like slipped around I, and I, like, hey! <laughs> I never said it was intended. Okay. I just said you did it. <laughs> um, anyway. As you're driving away, you see this large red ball of fire chasing after you, and you turn the corner, and that's where you guys drive away. I frantically get try to get bandages out of my backpack and like hold it on his wound. Yeah, so just roll. You don't have. You're not proficient in medicine, are you? I am not. So just roll a d8. Ah, come on. That's a two. So Boone is back up. I was going to say, right now, driving this truck, Kenny is looking like just a giddy little child. <laughs> Kenny, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen you do in my life. <laughs> All right. And as you guys uh, are driving away, um, I assume you're heading back to Demon Arm. Uh, only if someone takes over for me because I don't know where I'm going. You get far enough away and you just stop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, as you guys are heading out on your way, I think that's where we're going to call it as you're driving back to wherever this child came from, I assume. Uh, Elaine is just kind of set up in the back. Uh with Molly in her lap, trying to, you know, make sure she's okay, make sure she's not hit or anything, and try and keep her calm, um, and just kind of quietly singing <laughs> under her breath to her to try and get her to fall asleep. I hope it's Beyonce. <laughs> not the song I had in mind. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong one. It's the single lady song. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway so you guys have managed to make it through a, another interesting encounter another harrowing experience that nearly cost us our lives ah, so and as you all drive away you kind of look around at each other and realize you know it's nice being a good guy once in a while <laughs> <laughs> and uh that's where we're going to call it tonight. Oh, I forgot to get the five tokens. <laughs> Damn it. You didn't grab her wallet. <laughs> she is still alive. <laughs> oh. Did she not give them to us before she got out of the truck? She tried to. Oh, I assumed we took them. Uh, no. So we want to uh, thank everybody who was here for watching. Um, we hope you all enjoyed. Uh, it will be uploaded later to YouTube, uh, the Worst D&D &D channel on YouTube. Um, Hopefully so they, on Monday, yeah, if the nothing Worst breaks D &D again. Channel. Yeah, it's the same same 
pretty thing here as it is there. So yeah, if you uh, if you want to watch some more episodes, feel free to check out there. I mean, they're all on Twitch as well, but you know, whatever. Anyway, you do thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you.